Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me this morning is Brian Kaiser. Brian is the pastor of Love Revival. It's a local church on Chester Street, and Brian has called me up uh, last week and said, you know, we've been feeding a lot of people, and I want to come over and talk to you about it. So, Brian, you're here. So Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about uh, you. You said you're from Front Royal, and we did yes, do sir. a story on you a couple years ago. Yeah. And so kind of we'll get a follow-up and see what's new and what sure. you've been doing for the last two years. Yeah. And uh, give us a little background first. Sure, yeah. Born and raised, Front Royal, Virginia. Yeah. Enjoyed hiking, camping, fishing, the normal things around here. And, uh, you know, lived a pretty normal, you know, kind of Christian life as right. a kid. and. Walked away from the faith, became an atheist when I was 15, and had a radical, what I would say, experience with God when I was 17, and fell in love with Jesus and gave my life over to Him, and that's kind of what I've been all about for the last 10 years. And so uh, I traveled and did planted another church in Roanoke, Virginia, and then two and a half years ago, I feel like I was supposed to come back to Front Royal, where... It drags you back, doesn't it's it? It's strange. It's like a <laughs> magnet. You just can't get away from yeah, it. Yeah. I heard that story from a lot of people. It, uh -huh. it drags me back. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, I think it was the Lord, but well, uh, I've know, heard he that too. Work yeah. in mysterious ways. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. I came back kicking and screaming. I didn't yeah. want to be back, and I planned to move to New York City or D.C. Like, you're going to Nineveh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then a Shindo River catfish swallowed me up and brought me home. No. Uh, so, yeah, I moved back and uh, I, I just really felt like I was supposed to do something for the community and not not really be like a normal Sunday morning church, but still be a, a community, a family that mm -hmm. works together and has a, a common goal and you're mission. Kind of like a mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two and a half years ago, we started over on Jackson and we really started praying together, and uh, God just started breaking out. We, we believe in healing, and people started getting healed, and people started getting saved, and you know, people are getting fed and loved on, and, and just this, this uh, unity started happening across different church backgrounds. We'd have Catholics and Presbyterians and people out of the bars and all kinds yeah. of different things. And so here we are two and a half years later, and we're in our second building, and we've got like... 20 different things going on all the time, and we're just having a great time, just loving Front Royal and going after it. So. Well, it sounds like this your food ministry right now is big. Yeah. So tell us, uh, first of all, when is your services, and, yeah. and, and uh, you mentioned that you're doing this on Monday night. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we do Monday night, 7 p.m., Super laid back. I, I dress like this when I preach. It's I mean, church clothes. That's yeah, this is, my, this is my coat and tie, church clothes. Yeah, we're Jordans, you know. <laughs> uh, and so we're, we're really laid back about what you look like and how you dress. And Everyone's your, welcome. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. And so we do Monday at 7, and uh, we start it really at 6. We open our little coffee shop up, and we give away free food then. And uh, the second Monday of every month, we give away canned food, non perishables, you know, all that kind of stuff. But even a normal Monday, we do little snacks and, you know, stuff like that. And so that's what our Mondays are like. And um, come May, if everything's over by then, which I hope and believe it will, um, we are going to relaunch our drug addictions group. We did that for a year. We took a little break from that for a time, but we're going to be relaunching that come May. And then the last Friday, which is this coming Friday, um, we do a free community dinner. We've been doing that for two years, every single month. We never skipped one. And uh, normally everybody comes inside, we eat together, we play games, we have fun. It's not your normal, you know, eat and get out of here. Right, but it's a church fellowship. Right, absolutely. But, you know, it sometimes it looks like a rough bar emptied out <laughs> in a church, you know. We we like everybody coming in, you know. Sure, so it's sure. our, our people and then, you know, anybody else off the street or whatever, so... People drunk, high. I mean, we we love everybody. So, so. what's uh, what's your plan for this Friday then with the yeah. with our ten person? Right. Yeah. You're gonna feed them ten people at a time? No, no. <laughs> We're gonna feed everybody out front. We're gonna put um, uh, you know food bars out front, and we're gonna do like buffet style, and then it's all gonna be to go plates, and okay. so people are not gonna be unfortunately allowed to come inside, uh, but they'll be able to take as much as they want back home to their families. And hopefully, if the Lord multiplies our food, uh, we'll be able to give away bags of food for people to take back home with them to their families, friends, neighbors, whatever. And along with that, we're also delivering food right now. So um, if it's all right, I mean, anybody that's watching, you know, you can message us on Facebook, message me on Facebook, whatever, and we'll, we'll come make deliveries. We went all the way to Berryville on Saturday to deliver food, so... 
Um, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Well, let's talk about where you're getting your support yeah. and how people can help you. Yeah, I mean, I don't have, we're, we're not super complicated people. I mean, people give on Monday nights if they want to. We don't even pass plates. We just leave them up front and kind of give a general, hey, if you love Jesus and love what he's doing in Front Royal, then, you know, you can help out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we don't have anything super amazing set up uh, as far as that. I mean, we, we have a website, LarvalMinistryCenter.com, and I, I, there's a link on there for people to give. But um, other than that, if people you know, leave food at the ministry center, they can contact us. I'll be there. It, I mean, I'm always there. And so people can drop off food and all that. So, But other than that, I mean, it's just our committed, you know, the church side of what we're doing. People are really excited. You know, you see a lot of Christians right now, they're afraid. They think the end times are coming and they're hiding away to save their own life. But Book of Revelation says there's a, a people coming that will love not their lives, even unto death. And so our community is really giving a lot of food so that we can take it out to the streets and help people out and show that we're not focused on ourselves. We're focused on Front Royal and, and what the Lord wants to do. Love goes a long way, doesn't it? It does. changes everything. <laughs> it's a yeah. good four-letter word is what I say. Yes, that's, sir. That's my yeah. four-letter word. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brian, it's, it's, I'm glad that you're back in our community yeah, and you're doing a good me. work. And uh, check them out. Give us the website one more time. Love Revival Ministry Center dot com, and we're primarily more on Facebook. We up update right. Facebook way more. So same thing. Love Revival Ministry Center on Facebook. All right, well check them out again. Thanks again, Brian. Thank you, Mike. And hopefully, Thank you. Uh, you'll have a good turnout on Friday. Yes, sir. No lines. No standing around congregating. Yeah. But, you know. And wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> That's right. Again, thanks again. Appreciate <laughs> Thank you, it, Mike.